we are, Brat Fest, Neilani, Dennis, Tommy, a whole bunch of other guys. Well, this is nothing yet. This is nothing yet. This is still Thursday morning. People aren't even really showing up except for us. We're here with my friend Fuzzy. Fuzzy, what is this concoction we're looking at? This is actually a 1970 TX Playmate with a 293 sack single and the not factory megaphone exhaust. Sweet. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun little ripper. Now, is that the original motor or, or is it a mod? Or? It is a tag 293 as far as original to the sled, I don't know. Okay. Um, but it's looks pretty much unmolested looks like somebody put a ski on it at some point in time but it's uh, oh yeah oh well Fuzzy is really bringing the show on at Bratfest this year. Tell me about this piped and striped pumpkin. This is beautiful. It's a 92650 that is a pile of different parts. I bought it mostly done and um, blew it up last year here at Bratfest because we were getting brave with the jetting and uh, yeah. together. And while I had it apart, we uh, set the pipes in and got them coated. And nice. It's, it's not real pretty under the hood, but. Oh, it looks great. It looks good, sounds good. I uh, I had a different hood and nose cone. Back to this. So you had a different hood and nose cone? Yep, and a buddy of mine bought a sled out of Michigan that had all this stuff on it, and he wanted a sled that was all original. Yeah. Um, I had a beautiful hood and nose cone and windshield on this, so we did some trading, because I thought I liked the character and the pinstripe, and you can't beat uh, that early to mid 90s pinstriped cool factor. I love it. I'm extremely, yeah. extremely jealous of this, this pinstripe. It's kind of a cool rig. This is, this is certainly in contention for coolest rig at Bratfest. This thing is awesome. You don't like the orange striped seat? Oh no, I love it. Oh, okay. I don't know about it being a contender for the coolest sled here. Though. Oh yeah, it is for sure. At least in my opinion, but you know, I like Indy 650s and pumpkins especially. I grew up around this stuff, being around. I mean, you, you know my history with being around wedges. I love them. Yeah. Put me on a wedge through the woods, I'll hang with anybody. I've, I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it. Cool. Thanks for showing it to me there, Fuzzy. Yeah. All right, we're here with Turbo Tommy Zeller, and he's got a pretty cool Centurion. I, I noticed the uh, tunnel doesn't say 500. Look at that, folks. Oh, yeah, it's one of them. 
And uh, how long's the track on this, Tommy? 136. And uh, all ice picked out, I can see. It's got some studs. Got a few? Yeah. What, what do you got cooking under the hood? Just an old stock 650 redhead. Oh, we, we better take a look. Something tells me there might be something a little more than that, just judging by the way it sounded when you pulled up. Well, yeah, it does have triple pipes. Oh, ANs, huh? Yeah. Nice, nice. A bunch of parts that were laying around the garage, and we... Built her out of the parts pile. Yeah, 1980 hood, I fiberglass up the hole in it, and... Uh-huh. bombed it and put some stickers on it. Nice. Nice. I like the, uh, I like the heater core heat exchanger down there yeah, just old school that's how guys used to do it runs at 160 to 170 degrees on the trail all day so. nice yeah nice yeah. cool thanks for showing it to us no there's Lonnie on the TX Ben I know this is Craig's sled but I'm never gonna get Craig's attention for more than 30 seconds what are you riding thanks for passing through Jesse Dodge Ben, what is this beautiful thing you're riding? I'm on a 70 Polarin. It's Greg's, and I guarantee it would beat that Polaris in a race. I don't really, really have much faith in Polaris. What kind of motor does this thing got? Um, big. It's a, it's a 309 Polar. A 309 single? Yep. Wow, badass. It's happy as Donaldson exhaust. I don't think there's any baffles left in it. I think it's just a can. But uh, it's pretty stylish. I think we should get a video of Craig on it. If, do it but... if we can get his attention. Yeah. Um, what do you know about them? Where were they made? Who made them? Um, no idea. They made sleds in 1970. No, this is a 71. In 1970, they made two different models. One was red and one was blue. I don't remember which one was a cyclone or a tornado, but this one is a tornado. In 71, they were all lime green metal flake. Badass, Ben. Fire it up. Oh. Dialed into perfection. Dialed into perfection there, Ben. That's pretty good. I heard Craig worked on it. He rebuilt the whole carbon stuff. Nice. Give her a brap. Let me get you on film. That is a polar on tornado. Ben says two. Well, first off, that's the first time I've ever seen a polar on being ridden, and I've been into sleds for a long time and Secondly, I want to say that the gasoline in that smells a lot like mouse poop. <laughs> I think it's original. Yeah, I think the gas came with the sled, pretty obviously. Yep. Well, thanks for showing it to me, Ben. This thing's awesome. Uh, thanks, Notter. <laughs>
Just ran out of power. Shit. Trying to decide if it's still got the pressure. Shut off. It's not seized. I don't think it melted a hole. Yeah. It's pretty dry under here. She's just, you know the old saying, it was just running great. And she just shut off. She's, I don't know. I better. What's that? Do you want to stop compression on both Well, that's what I'm not sure. Because they don't have that much compression to start with. I think. It feels like it. Yeah, it's got compression on both. Yeah. So, why the fuck did it shut off? Because it got fuel. Oh, here, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Tether pulled out. I hate when that happens. Oh. Okay. Yeah.
catch up with him and I was like. All right, here we are up at the Lazy Ace. We just finished that awesome ride. The trails are perfect. Lots of fresh snow, freshly groomed. The railroad bed's awesome. Here we are. Any thoughts, Tommy, Derek? Yeah, we're just here for a good time. Well, we're definitely having a good time today. <laughs> nice windy trails, smooth. Awesomeness. The weather is perfect. There's the old Lazy Ace. We're going to get some lunch in there. They got good sandwiches. So All right, I'm going in. And... We're going in. So here we are after the first day of riding at Bratfest, and look at what Lonnie's sled did again. She slammed. <laughs> she slammed all the way down. There were times when I had no steering. I was just letting the belly pan push the thing around. Oh, goodness. <laughs> It was it was it was wicked. And it, and it's not just the front suspension. No, it's the whole thing. The whole thing is slammed. It looks like he's dropped it for uh, ice ovals or something. <laughs> That's crazy. It was it was it was handling a lot, those really sharp turns and stuff. It was handling those really well. Oh, I bet. Yeah. But, but <laughs> that's crazy. How does that happen? Let alone twice in one year. U shocks. U shocks are probably bad. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have to spend some money on shocks for next year. Yep. All right, Dennis, tell us about the trailer of shame. Well, yeah, we were on our morning ride this morning here at Brat Fest Thursday, and uh, I was stopped on the trail, and the vehicle went boggy, so I opened the hood and said, oh, I'm going to change the fuel filter. Yeah. It had some shit in it. While I was changing the fuel filter, dun, 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 dun. it snapped off. Yeah, but I don't know how that got by us without getting a brass one in it. But, so... Uh, we, uh, I, I got a ride back to my truck, got the trailer. Luckily, it happened right at the road. Yeah. Um, so put the, tra put, the ra put the sled on the trailer. Now we're back here. I took a pit stop over at Lance's snowmobile. Yeah. Got a nice brass one off an of Indy. Yep. Shameless plug, Lance's repair, Manitouche Waters. He took care of Dennis. So we'll get her back together. And hopefully I get to ride. Yeah, you'll get to ride it. If not, I got the XLT. Yeah. That's why you own two vintage sleds. That's why you always bring a spare. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm editing the Thursday Brap Fest ride, and of course the cool sleds that you saw down on the lake, and I realized we never made a wrap-up, so here it is. Uh, I want to tell you that we have part two coming, which will be the Friday ride and some more cool sleds, so you'll want to hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll find out when that comes out. I also want to take a second to tell you about my Patreon page. Uh, my Patreon page is a place where you can get some behind-the-scenes access to Nutter Speed Shop, you can get additional content, and you can also get early access. The link's in the description, so please check that out, and uh, we'll see you on the trails.